in this part of the audit, the auditor is following an audit trail from the audit of top management related to the management of production tooling and improving the process of tool changeover. Watch this video to determine if the auditor is using effective auditing techniques. Right, AJ. So Dan was telling me about some continual improvement activities in the management of tooling. So do you want to just talk me through what those are all about? Okay, yes, as Dan mentioned earlier, so what we um, improved on is um, help the operators quickly identify our tooling and also help us with a fast-paced environment so we can easily manage our tool changes. So what we're doing now is all, our, all the left and right hand tools are easily identified by colour codes. So we've okay. got a red for left hand and a green for right hand. Okay. okay. And what are these numbers? So for? also to support um, quick finding of the tools, what we also have are the location ident identifications which correlate with the information on the tools as well. Okay. Yeah. And is this the only storage area for so tooling? We have another storage area. Um, if we walk that way, I can demonstrate that for you. Okay. Okay, so what do we have here then, AJ? So what we have here is you have the location information, which correlates with the information on the actual tool itself. Each tool also has the project, project code and number identified on it, so for easy identification and therefore allowing for the operators to quickly change tools when they need to. Okay. And th these ones are not colour-coded? So yes, these are not colour-coded because this is how we initially started and then we identified there's a need for colour coordination to support our operators. And as you saw earlier, we have now the different colours. Ah, uh, so it's a work in progress. It's a, it's, it's a work in progress, but this is this, this demonstrating what we had before and that's what we're working on now. Okay, yeah. that's great. Thank you very much, AJ. So let's summarise. A key requirement of ITF 16949 is 10.3.1 related to continual improvement, which includes the requirement for the organization to have a manufacturing process improvement plan with emphasis on reduction of process variation and waste. An area of waste in many organizations is the time taken to do job changeover, especially where there are short production runs, as we have seen with this, within this organization, which can result in lost production time. In this organization, they had focused continual improvement in reducing changeover time by improving the management of tooling which include the color coding, for example, for left and right handed tools, and also improving the rack labeling. The color coding that they introduced can also reduce the risk of mixing left and right hand tools, which is good from an error proofing perspective. Auditors should verify doing an audit of tooling that the ownership of tooling is clear and where the tooling is owned by the customer, ITF requirement 8.5.1.6 clearly states, the organization shall verify that customer owned tools, manufacturing equipment and test and inspection equipment are permanently marked in a visible location so that the ownership and application of each item can be clearly determined. In this audit, the auditor should follow up to verify that requirement has been effectively met. Finally, completion dates of continual improvement projects should be verified, which then should include the updating of any of the relevant quality management system documentation, which could include PFMEA, control plans, and any relevant work instructions. So let's summarize the key learning points. If we look at the goal of ATF 16949, it is stated as 
the development of a quality management system that provides for continual improvement, emphasizing defect prevention, and the reduction of variation and waste in the supply chain. During any audit, auditors should be looking for evidence of continual improvement. When continual improvements are made, auditors should verify that all the relevant quality management system documentation has been updated. And finally, for production tooling, auditors should verify that any customer ownership can be determined by some form of permanent marking. 